Good afternoon, my rogue army. My name is Erin Rogoff, and I would like to welcome you all back to my booktube channel. So, I have been reading a ton of dark romances lately, so I thought I'd switch things up a little bit and read a lot of Stephen King horror books and paranormal novels, and I have been really enjoying myself with that just because I love the fear factor and the paranormal and ghost romances and all that sort of stuff. I love it and I do not know why. Anyway, I was on Facebook earlier and saw a link to an article about 23 books that readers actually had to stop reading due to the fear factor in the books. That said, I wanted to go through the entire list, or at least most of it, and tell you about all the books that I have read, not read, want to read, and have loved. 1984 by George Orwell is on my to-be-read list. I do not have it yet, but I am waiting to get it on my Kindle once the next paycheck rolls in. And then another book that I want to read is The Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess. Please forgive me if I pronounce the name wrong. I am very bad with names. Unless everyone had a name like in Game of Thrones, in which case I could remember your character's name and then your actual name as the actor. And then another book that I have not read yet is uh, Baby Teeth by Zoji Stage. I do not know how to pronounce her or his name. And then another book that I have on my Kindle wish list is Bag of Bones by Stephen King. And if you know me, you know that I have a weakness for Stephen King books just because they are so incredible. Oh my god, I have nothing bad to say about any of them. And then another book is Grim Memorials by R. Patrick Gates. And then another book is Haunted by Chuck Palahniuk. Palahniuk? I do not know how to pronounce that name either. And then a book that I am very intrigued by is The Heart-Shaped Box by Joe Hill. And, oh my gosh, I don't know why I feel pulled towards that book, because I try not to judge books by the cover, even though you can pretty much tell I judge books by the cover. And then another book is House of Leaves by Mark Z. Danielescu. What? I don't know how to pronounce his name either. Why do so many authors have such difficult names to pronounce? I mean, I can sort of understand why, because I am very happy to announce that I am a self-published author on Amazon, and I will leave a link in the description below to a few of my novels. But not everyone can pronounce my last name, which is Rogoff, but everybody pronounces it Rogoff or Ragoff, and I'm just like, no. No, that's not my name. Anyway, another book that I finished and absolutely loved is Life As We Knew It by Susan Beth Pfeffer. Oh my god, I loved this book. I loved it 11 years ago when I was 12, and I still love it now. And what is it about the end of the world that fascinates me so much? Is it like the call of the void or something? If you don't know... If you don't know what that is, Google it, because it's actually pretty interesting. So anyway, another book that I absolutely love is Misery by Stephen King. I actually saw the movie first when I was about 10, and that was the movie with Kathy Bates as Annie Wilkes. And if you know me, and if you know my mom, you know that we love Kathy Bates movies. I don't know what it is about Kathy Bates movies, but I will watch pretty much anything with her in it. The same goes for my mom. And the funny thing is, well, not really funny, but when my mom was working at, um... I forget what it was called. When my mom had her last job before she became the director, curator of the Monmouth County Historical Association, she actually had a bit of weight problems, which she is very open about, and a bunch of people said that she looked like Kathy Bates, and my mom is like, uh, thank you, but I'm not as big as her. No insult to Kathy Bates, because I love you, Kathy. Oh my god. Moving on to another Stephen King book is Pet Cemetery, which I love. And I was actually fascinated with this book as a kid, and the movie as a kid too, because I saw the original movie, not the reboot, and I thought it was so cool that Herman Munster and Tasha Yar were in the movie. I, if you know me, you know that I love Star Trek. Like, I can talk about Star Trek all day, reference everything that Leonard Nimoy has been in, and if you know me, you know 
one of my prized possessions is pretty much the uh, signed autographs from everyone on Star Trek. So anyway, <laughs> so anyway, I will see any movie with anyone who's been on Star Trek. Like, it doesn't even matter if the movie is good or bad, I will watch it. So that was why it was really cool to see Tasha Yar on, well, in Pet Cemetery, just because it was so incredible. And even though she played, like, a really interesting part, it was still really cool to see for me anyway. <laughs> One book that is on my Kindle wish list is Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn, or Gillian Flynn. Flynn, I do not know how to pronounce her name either, because I have a friend whose name is Gillian, but it's spelled Gillian. I'm not even going to get into that. Another book that I am really intrigued by is The Bone Collector by Jeffrey Deaver. And I don't know why it's so fascinating, but it r might remind me of The Mephisto Club by Tess Gerritsen, which I absolutely loved, and I could reread again over and over and over again. And then a classic is The Exorcist by William Peter Blatty. As a kid, my mom told me not to watch the movie, so I watched the movie. And when I got older, my dad actually took me to my first horror convention, and it was so cool because I actually saw the actual spinning Regan head from the movie. And I was like so excited that I was like a kid in the candy store. But I was in a horror convention so I'm like 13 years old. Yay! Horror! It was really funny. <laughs> and then another book that I have not read yet is The Radium Girls by Kate Moore. And I'm not really sure if I want to read this or if I just wrote it down for no apparent reason, but there's just something about the elements that fascinates me. I obviously could not be a chemist, but with radium in it, it's pretty interesting. And then another book that I have a weakness for is The Road by Cormac McCarthy. I lent my copy to my dad, but I have yet to get it back. And since my dad has been busy with everything, I don't know if he knows where the copy is either, so I might need to buy another copy for myself. And then we have one of the final books that I am about to list is The Shining by Stephen King. My mom and I watched the movie for family movie night and treat it like one of those old Mystery Science Theater 3000 TV show episodes from the 1990s. We joke about how the blood looks so comical and then how Wendy looks absolutely ridiculous as she runs in fear with the knife. And knowing me, I would love to put that knife to good use, says my bloodthirsty, horror-loving psycho side. And then another book that I have yet to read is You by Caroline Kepnes, or Kep... Kepis. I do not know how to pronounce that name either. Please forgive me. And this is no insult to any of the authors. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, that is all for today. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button to show some support. Turn those notifications on. Subscribe to my booktube channel to get more videos like this. And have a great day, everyone.